Welcome everyone in lecture number 26. In this video lecture, I'll discuss one more example on infinite Fourier transform. Example is find the Fourier transform of the function fx, which is defined as one minus x squared for mod x less than or equal to one and zero for mod x greater than one. As you know, what is the meaning of mod x less than or equal to one? It means that x lies between minus one and plus one. And mod x greater than one means x is less than minus one or x is greater than one. Hence, evaluate this integral. We have to evaluate this integral also with the help of Fourier transform of this function. So by the definition of Fourier transform of any function is defined as integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to the power i p x f x t x. So this is our function which is given to us. So we divide this integral, which is from minus infinity to plus infinity into three parts, where one integration is from minus infinity to minus one. And then because I have, uh, this is a real line, I have minus one and plus one here. So I'll divide my whole integration into three parts. One is from minus infinity infinity to plus one, I'm sorry, minus one, and then minus one to plus one and one to infinity. In this part and this part, the function is zero. So this integral, these two integrals are equal to zero and we are left with this integral. So we have uh, integral of uh, uh, ipx one minus x squared dx because the function is defined uh, in this interval as one minus x squared. Now we integrate this function by parts, a shortcut formula, first function into integration of second function. Then we use alternate sign and we differentiate the first function and integrate the second function. And we keep on repeating this until and unless we have the de de differentiation of uh, first function uh, is not equal to zero. So I'll stop after this uh, step because after this step, the differentiation of minus two will be zero. So uh, here I, I repeat uh, uh, the explanation of this line. Uh, I have first function here and then integration of second function. Then I use all uh, minus sign. Then differentiate this first function and integrate this function, okay? Integration of this function is e raised to power ipx divided by i into p again. So i square will become minus one and p into p is p square. Then I have positive sign here because here I have used negative sign. So I have I will use here positive sign. Then uh, differentiate this uh, function which is inside the bracket. So it is minus two and integrate this function again which is inside the bracket. So integration of this function is this. Then apply the limit from minus one to plus one. At upper limit, this value will be zero because one minus one will be zero. So this makes whole uh, of this uh, expression equal to zero. Then I put one here. So I'll get two into uh, e raised per i p divided by p square and because of three negative sign we have negative sign here then uh, here uh, at upper limit the value of this expression is this and at lower limit this expression is again zero and uh, in this expression i have positive sign and uh, putting x is equal to minus one, i'll get this and for this, I'll get this. Then you can take p uh, minus two upon p square common from this and uh, from this. And two upon i p cube from this and this, okay? So e raised per i p plus e raised per minus i p can be written as two cos p. And uh, this can be written as 2i sine p because uh, you know the formula of cos p is defined as e raised power i or if I do not use p then if I can write 
cos x as e raised power i x plus e raised power minus i x whole divided by 2. Because e raised power i x is cos x plus i sin x. And e raised power minus i x is cos x minus i sin x. So when you add these two equations, you will get 2 cos x is equal to e raised power i x plus e raised power minus i x. So the value of cos x will be this. In the same way, we have uh, uh, used uh, 2 i sin p for this expression. Simplifying it, uh, we'll get this, taking, uh, uh, this is uh, 4 i, i se i cancel ho jayega. this is 4 upon p cube and this is also 4 upon p square. So taking uh, 4 upon p cube common, I'll get this. Now the, uh, further it, it cannot be simplified. So I simply use inversion formula. Inversion formula is fx is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity fp. This is fp that I have obtained here. e raised power minus ipx dp. So I'll put the value of fp which I have obtained here. Okay. Then you can take this 2 pi here and just open this e raised power ipx to compare the real and imaginary parts. So comparing real integrals, uh, you will get the value of this expression is equal to pi by 2 fx. Simply just uh, Uh, when you multiply uh, this uh, bracket with this bracket, then uh, real part uh, that we obtain is this into this. P cos P minus sin P whole divided by P into cos P X. DP. And uh, on the left hand side, I have 2 pi FX. So, um, you can see here, uh, whenever you multiply this expression with this and take this minus uh, sign inside the bracket and 4 here. So, you'll get sine p minus p cos p whole divided by p. And on left hand side, I'll have pi by 2 because of this uh, divided by 4. So, we'll get pi by 2. Okay. Uh, now I can, because this is an even function, because when you replace p by minus p, uh, this will remain as it is. Here we have negative sign and here it is also negative sign and this is a positive sign. So when you simplify this whole, you will get the same expression. So this is a even function. So that's why... Uh, in minus infinity to plus infinity limit is written as 0 to infinity and get multiplied by 2. And the value of fx put from the given question and multiplied by pi by 2. Now I put x is equal to 1 upon 2 because uh, I have to evaluate uh, the integral where cos is cos uh, we have cos x by 2. So if you look at here, I have here cos p x. So I have to put x is equal to 1 upon 2 to get p upon 2. So that the whole function will become the uh, whole expression will become the function of p. As you can see here. Okay. Hum x ki value hi substitute karenge. Because here on the right hand side, x is 
तो x की वैल्यू जब आपने सब्सटीट्यूट कर दी तो आपको ये पूरा एक्सप्रेशन p में मिला है तो आप इस पूरे एक्सप्रेशन को अब x से रिप्लेस कर सकते हो दैट डजेंट मैटर एंड dp पी इज रिप्लेस बाई डी एक्स ओके आप इंटीग्रेशन किसी फंक्शन का कर रहे हो वो फंक्शन ऑफ t है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू dt कर रहे हो लिमिट भी uh, t के लिए है अगर आप उस फंक्शन का वेरिएबल चेंज कर देते हो और इंटीग्रेशन भी उस वेरिएबल के रेस्पेक्ट में है तो इंटीग्रेशन की वैल्यू चेंज नहीं होती है ओके सो यूजिंग दिस लॉजिक दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज इज रिटर्न इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स एंड द साइन इज रिवर्स बिकॉज इन द गिवेन क्वेश्चन आई हैव x cos x first of all and then sin x so that's why i reverse the sign and 2 is uh, that is here 2 is taken to the right hand side so the value of this given expression is uh minus 3 pi by 16 okay i hope you understand this uh, example based on fourier infinite transform thank you very much for watching the video and if you have uh, liked my lecture you can uh, press the like button and share it and you can also subscribe my channel thank you so much